What up fam, it's Heaven and I am back with another video for you guys. This video, we are going to do a little mini haul of all the crap that I purchased on Wish. I know you've seen the videos everywhere. I've been ordering from Wish now for I want to say about three months. <laughs> I check the Wish app like every day, every other day because I just like shopping or whatever. And I generally only purchase things that are free you know with you know a dollar or two shipping and handling like I'm not trying to spend like book of dollars on shit you know I don't got time for that anyway so let me show you the stuff that I got and um, I can give you mini reviews on almost everything that's here so let's jump right into it Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Three. we're gonna start off with uh, one of my favorite items that I've received from Wish, okay? It is uh, two gel nail polishes that I purchased. I think I paid like a dollar or two. They're from um, KCE Color Change Gel Polish. The reason why these are my favorite, um, these are ones that I've tested a few times, okay? <clears throat> Here they go. Here, these are two colors that I got. One is black. One is purple. These are single swatches of colors. I tried slow down I need to slow down all right I've tried these on myself before and I did double swatch um, you know like two layers of it and it didn't come out that great um, and it's not this is the color that it is when it's cold it's not this color that didn't come out that great um, for the black one specifically one layer of it is gorgeous the color that it changes to when you do two, the color changes all together and it just looks really funky. So, there goes that color change. It's really pretty, um, again, like I said, with just one layer, you know. Once you do that second layer, it looks really weird. And then, but the black does tend to look a little streaky. The purple one turns a pretty pink color. So the only issue with this one is is that if you don't if you don't do a second coat, I've been saying layer this whole time. What is wrong with me? Oh, okay, if you don't do a second coat of polish, the pink isn't as vibrant as um, I thought it was going to be. So I mean, but other than that, I mean, they freaking work. Look, it already changed color again. They work. Um, they are definitely not as shiny as they come across here. I did use a no wipe clear uh, gel top coat on these. Um, so yeah, it's not as shiny as they look now. This is the top coat that I have that's made it this shiny, but not bad for nail polish. That I believe was free or cost a dollar. What else? Moving right along, uh, keeping inconsistent with uh, the nail theme, I found some nail decals. For those of you that don't know what a decal is, these I got uh, for free. I've got 50 sheets, they're all different. Uh, styles they have different words they have different whatever whatever um, just really quickly to tell you what they are so uh, basically what it is this is the decal sheet you cut out the piece that you want you're gonna remove the plastic layer that's over them you're gonna chuck that piece into a little cup of water and you let it soak once the paper here gets wet enough this decal slides right off the paper you stick it on your nails I did these so anyway that's what they look like I think it's pretty cool um, how clear they are they don't look like stickers at all you stick them on you throw on a top coat you know I use a clear gel top coat on mine and that's it you're ready to go I literally spent 15 minutes uh, like two nights ago cutting the decals out putting them on top coat and that was it I was ready for bed and it just zhuzhed up my nails just a little bit so I'm happy with that um, again, sticking with nail stuff, I couldn't pass this up. This one I think cost me $2. Um, they're more nail decals, but these are Christmas themed. These are absolutely adorable. I cannot wait until I am able to use these on my nails. I think that they are so stinking 
cute. Look at this. And for a dollar or two, like, I can do my nails, you know, from Thanksgiving until Christmas ten times. And my nails will still be freaking stinking gorgeous every single time, you know. And I can do them with ease. If you guys want a tutorial on how either of these nail decals work, I can do a quick two, three minute tutorial if you want. Uh, just showing you the process that I go through to cut them up, soak them in the water, place them on my nails, that kind of thing. So, just let me know. Um, if that's what you want, leave a comment down below. So, let's move on to, um, oh, there is, there's one more. This I got every day at 9 p.m., which does, like, this free giveaway, whatever the hell. And you've got to have, like, super speedy fingers to be really, really fast so that you can, basically, the app tells you, like, all right, we're doing our free giveaway today. It's between 9 and 9.15 p.m. And then oh, sometimes you get a notification, other times you don't. I find that if I'm on the app between those hours, uh, between those few minutes, um, it'll tell me while I'm on the app, hey, our giveaway is starting today. Get there quick. If you hesitate for a second, everything will be gone. I don't know how I did it, but I managed to get some free stuff. I love the way they spelled hollow, all, you know, right, yet so wrong at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Um, I don't see what the big deal is about this being um, hollow, which it actually is. You see, simply no logical would be a little happy um, because these are stencils, so they don't stay on your nails. You're supposed to be able to paint it on and cut around it and leave the sticker on your nails. That's why they advertise that it's holographic. These are stickers. I'm looking at them as stencils, like I can just. Put them on, paint over it, and remove them, and then have the, wow, okay, now I get it. I feel so dumb. Whatever. Either way, it was for free. I didn't even have to pay shipping and handling for it, so I'm not mad at all. So this is a mascara. I've used this only once, so I really cannot attest for um, how well it does work. But for me, it wasn't that great. So apparently, and I had to go online to get instructions. Apparently, you use this end. You already seen that, right? You use this end as mascara. Then you use this end has little. I don't know if you if you're gonna be able to see it or not. It has little fibers of hair. So the whole point of this is that the fibers of hair cling to the mascara and then, uh, yeah, I guess you could put more mascara on it and then more. That thought is supposed to make your lashes look longer. All it did for me, really, was the little hairs um, got into my eyeballs and irritated the crap out of my eyes. Like, my eyes were bloodshot by the time I finished playing with this. Like, I just tried it once and my eyes were all jacked up so I don't know I haven't tried it again to be honest like I have not given it a fair shot whatever I'm like for now I can just throw it out but I kind of want to give it another shot so if you guys want a tutorial on the mascara I can do a really quick two three minute video up close to show you how to put it on how the fibers go on and just what it looks like end product if you guys are curious just comment down below and let me know. One of the next things I got, the purifying peel-off mask. You know the black charcoal mask that everybody, whatever, you put it on, it is um, a liquid. You put it all on your face. Well, you put it here or you can put it all over your face, however you want to do it. You let it dry completely and then you peel it off. I will tell you this much. I know that there's videos of people out here who've used this and are having a hard time getting it off their face they're waiting entirely too long to take it off I, I could not tell you how long they waited for it to get that freaking hard to peel off their face but it's too long I have put this on and waited about 20 minutes for it to dry completely I've peeled it off with no problem and you see the gunk come out of your pores etc etc no big deal this crap that these people are like struggling to get it off they had to have left that on their face for like an hour and it completely solidified because that's crazy I mean I can peel it off like it's solid when I peel it off but it's not it doesn't feel like that 
you know what I'm saying? Like, it just it feels solid. You can grab it. You can peel it off. No problem. But it doesn't feel like it's a mask on your face. Like, I don't know. But it works for me. So, I am at it. That. The next thing that we got is I spent a dollar. I got a concealer stick. Um, I don't know from what it is. From what it is. From what company it is so this is the color of the concealer it's actually one that I'm wearing now I've actually worn it a few times it's not that bad um, I'm not big with you know concealers anyway like I use them if I use them I don't know if I don't like it doesn't really matter uh, but for the sake of trying it for a dollar I've been using it and I really don't have any complaints so it is what it is you know Next is, I saw this online and I felt in love and I said I gotta get it and my kids said, Ma, you're crazy and I was like, I don't care, I want it. It's the cat line. Y'all already know, I know y'all seen this everywhere. It is literally the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. It cost me a dollar, I don't care. Um, I should have used it today. I haven't, I've not had a chance to play with it yet. But basically, um, you can do like the perfect wing liner you're supposed to hold it up to your eye and then literally just trace out the perfect wing liner on each side you should be able to carve out your eyeshadow um, do the perfect eyeliner here here's another wing look I guess or is it this way I don't freaking freaking know I don't know um, I think this one again is for more eyeliner stuff they have instructions on the back it's cute they do a lot of different things um if you guys want to review on this I can actually do like a full uh, not tutorial so much as just show you how to use each piece I guess I can do a video on that really quick that's not a big deal if you want to see that let me know comment down below and I can show you how to do this Next is, alright, in keeping with the whole eyeliner theme, um, I did get this. This is a Miss Rose Professional Makeup. Ugh, I feel like I got hairs everywhere from opening up that mascara. I do, and swatching it on my hand. I've got little hairs all over the place. It's insane. Anyway, so this is an eyeliner pencil. Now, this is actually the eyeliner that I'm wearing today. I think it's great it's nice and it's black it's beautiful it's just amazing I don't know what the lasting quality is because today is the first time that I'm wearing it this side however it is a stamp it is in the shape of a triangle and it is supposed to assist you in doing your wings now if you want to look at my jacked up ass makeup I use the stamp on this side here I attempted to use it on this side here and I messed up like literally my wing was pointing upward instead of out this way so this one I had it aligned really good and it came out fine but on this side like I don't I guess it's because I was just trying to manipulate it and I just couldn't maybe I twisted it at the last minute a little bit I don't know but it literally went up this way like my <laughs> triangle was going up this way so I cleaned it off and tried to fix the eyeshadow and then I just hand drew it in on this side with the regular felt tip part I hand drew it in on this side and this side was stamped um, you guys know I'm not an expert at this wing stuff or whatever I figured this would help definitely need practice on this if you want a two three minute tutorial on how to use it I can hook you guys up and put one together for you just leave a comment down below let me know you notice the reoccurring thing here just leave a comment down below and let me know what you want and I got you alright so next is um what is this from GLOD minimal I don't even think this is in English I don't know this is an eyebrow tint I have not put this on my eyebrows yet but I did try it on my hand and I was thinking it smells like plastic I was thinking about doing like some henna tattoos with this instead so this is an eyebrow tint basically you just so you just color in your eyebrows I guess whatever shape it is that you want like exaggerated shape that you want or whatever you put this on uh, you let it dry and when you peel it off it's like already colored in 
like I said, I did it on my arm. It was pretty cute for my arm, right? But I just felt that the color itself would just be too harsh on my face. So maybe I picked up the wrong color, even though it is uh, dark brown, like my hair. So I, I wouldn't know what other color to choose, you know? Um, I think black would have just been too bold. I don't know. It's really weird, but... I'm going to try it on my eyebrows. I'm just scared. If you guys want to see me do that in a video, let me know. Okay? Um, <laughs> and I'll do it. It doesn't last that long though. Like literally it lasts a couple of days. But what I did was, um, like I drew like, like an H. Did I draw, draw an H or did I write heaven? I did something on this hand and just didn't touch it like just let it dry and let it flake off completely kind of like what you do with henna and then on this one I did it and peeled it off and then I scrubbed this one with a facial scrub and uh, an exfoliating pad and this one came off after two or three washes this one I left on and I washed my hand like a thousand times a day and I left this on and it lasted for about a good two days so you don't wash your face that much you know like you don't wash it every single um, you know time you go to the bathroom like you wash your hands so I'm thinking that you can possibly get it to last on your eyebrows for a week as long as you don't go after it with an exfoliating brush when you wash your face or any kind of exfoliating scrubbies so but if you guys want to see me uh, try this out I can definitely do it look it's already peeling so this is still has it on here and this has peeled off completely see it doesn't go anywhere and I just think that's pretty cool. See what I'm saying? So it definitely will uh, tint your eyebrow area. The last thing that I got is um, actually one of the first things that I got when I figured out what the Hello Wish was. I was like, oh, well, I've got to get this. This is the uh, eyebrow stamper kit. And I got it, and then I just I don't know how to use it. <laughs> You can see I've tried it a few times. I just don't know how to use it. I'm thinking maybe I might have gotten the wrong uh, shape. I don't know. But basically what you do is, is you just take your little stamper. It comes with uh, eyeshadow. Eyeshadow. It comes with um, powder already here. You dip your stamper into the powder. And you literally just press it onto your eyebrows like so see and it automatically adds the shape adds the color adds whatever it is that you need but I haven't really worn it outside so I don't know how this holds up um, like I sweat a lot especially out here in Florida so I don't know how it holds up to sweat or any of that stuff so I don't know if you want to see me demo this in a video let me know <laughs> leave a comment down below anyways you guys already know how to find me <laughs> on all my social media is real talk heaven all across the board facebook instagram twitter snapchat you know i'm there um if you guys are following me on snapchat let me know because i don't snap often because i can't figure out who's following me and who's not so i don't snap because i'm just like yeah there's nobody there following me so it's like whatever like, I know you guys follow me on Instagram, I know you follow me on Facebook, um, not so much on Twitter, but that's fine, whatever. But Snapchat, like, I really don't know, so let me know, for real. Anyways, with that said, I will catch you guys later.